Senator Thomas to explain his vote. Thank you, Mr. President. I also want to thank the leader for pushing forward this package on housing discrimination because this should not be happening in our communities again. In 2019, Newsday published a three-year investigation of discrimination by real estate agents, revealing evidence of widespread, separate, and unequal treatment of minority potential home buyers and minority communities on Long Island. Additionally, the investigation revealed that Long Island's dominant residential brokering firms appear to be helping to solidify racial uh, separations. In response, the New York State Senate conducted three separate hearings after subpoenas were served on agents and brokers. The testimony revealed several issues, including lack of supervision and lack of deterrence, among other issues. In order to rectify the lack of deterrence, I introduced S-715, which passed this House a few minutes ago, designed to deter violations of human rights law in relation to fair housing discrimination. Fines are increased to $25,000 for the first offense, $50,000 for the second, and $75,000 for the third. And in order to rectify the lack of supervision, I introduced this current bill, s 2157 a to hold office managers to the same standard as licensed real estate brokers. For many Americans, owning a home is a step towards obtaining their American dream. The purchase of a home is a huge financial decision for potential buyers, and the real estate industry should be acting ethically. These two bills, along with those filed by my colleagues, are going to make sure this does not happen again. Discrimination has no place in our communities. I vote in the affirmative. Thank you.